For this next video tutorial, we're going to look at the cubital tunnel, and in particular, uh, we're going to identify the ulnar nerve and some of the ligaments in this area. So we start with scanning the posterior medial aspect of the elbow joint. So I'm going to have one edge of my probe on the medial epicondyle and the other edge of my probe on the olecranon. And I'm going to start by scanning down to help me identify the ulnar nerve. As I scan down, the ulnar nerve becomes very much more apparent sitting here below the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris. I'm going to bring my probe back up again into the cubital tunnel and now it's much easier to see that ulnar nerve. So sometimes the ulnar nerve can be quite difficult to identify because there's a lot of anatomy and a lot of structures going on here. If I come down, what was initially a hypoechoic structure, looking structure, we can see now starts to appear that typical pepper pot appearance and a lot more hyperechoic areas around it. We know that's our ulnar nerve and again we can identify it specifically because it's a position next to the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. Okay, so I'm going to come back up to the cubital tunnel and in particular here we can see the posterior ulnar collateral ligament running just underneath our ulnar nerve and if I tilt my probe just slightly, just sitting above the ulnar nerve as well, we can see the Osborne's ligament. So that's making the roof of the cubital tunnel more superficially. So this is the structures that you can look at in the cubital tunnel.